Cradle. Are we gonna go to Fort Canby? We're going to Fort Canby? Ooh, yeah, we're gonna go, huh? Go for a ride? <laughs> This is the lower parking lot for regular people and you hike up this trail to get to the fort which is here and they have a completely separate handicapped parking lot right next to the fort here this is an absolute pleasure thank you so much washington state okay, these are all the forts around the puget sound coming in and out fort db and kc and flagger and then this is Fort Canby, Fort Columbia, and Fort Stevens. Fort Canby being the one that's farthest out to the ocean. That's this one, and it's a gun battery to help uh, protect the defense of the Columbia River so enemy can't come down the Columbia River. Size of these guns, they're 15 inch Rodman guns. Huge, huge guns. They call them Big Betsy. We're in the shell room right now, and these buildings here, the guard room and the office, and then we have a storeroom and storage battery room of that way, the power room is that way, wow. and then they have telephone booths at each end for communications with guns, and the guns are in three main emplacements, one, two, and three, one, two, three, above us. Action on each side, that side, that side, and then farther down. There's only like a hundred men at the station here at any one time or less. Of course. 1864 is when they started putting guns here, the mouth of Columbia, and then it went on from there and got upgraded as the as time went on and it ended this in 48. This is World War II era type bunkers and gun emplacements. Right. They just kept upgrading it, but at most about 100 troops were stationed here, officers and troops. And then during peacetime, it went down as few as two troops. Two people, that's all that were stationed here at peacetime. So that's, awesome. that, wouldn't that be a boring? <laughs> boring job, huh? Yeah. Wow. Here's the other exit. There's a little storage room here. Battery hot. Holy smokes, they got these guys down here too. The ones that cannon out of it. Wow. Not only the three batteries up here, but then they also have these 12 inch mortars. That's a huge mortar. This is the powder room. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I got the shells here. Yeah. <gasps> go up to the guns, but these are all stairs, so we have to go the other way to go uh, ADA gun. I don't think we can get up there. Yeah, there was a trail going Well, up. let me get a picture. And... Yeah. And these go to the guns that are upstairs? Yeah, the gun in the actual gun is Right there. And... Just saw it. All right.
These right here are the communication booths. This is where they had the phones that would go up to the boat, up to the guns, right? They call it the phone booth, and they got one at each end. Okay, now we're going to go to the gun emplacements up this little hill. Oh, they have a gift shop even. Amazing. But it's on the same level as the, uh, as the gun batteries. Oh, look at that view. Of course you're going to have a good view. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, I'd say they can could control the whole mouth of the channel here, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. I want to see that other gun battery though. There's a lighthouse that we saw. They just roll down here. This is before the jetties, after the jetties. See the channel, it's all cleaned up. Yeah. This this whole thing was all out here like this. There used to be a deck right here. The mortars were down in there, but the deck was right here for those main battery guns. There was another one there, one here, and one over where we were before. And this is where the gun actually sat and traveled in that travis. So before this building, it had the full view. This gun could sweep mm -hmm. the entire Columbia River, the mouth of the Columbia. Okay, Don's inside the... Uh... Visitor center and getting some magnets. I didn't want to go in. Found some. You did. Yep. What'd I you got, get? I got two of them. One for North Head Lighthouse, which we saw earlier today. Uh huh. And one for Cape Disappointment Lighthouse, which is this one. At Fort Canby. At Fort Canby. They now they call this something else. Now they just call it part of the state park, the Lewis and Clark State Park. Uh, Cape Disappointment. Cape Disappointment State Park, right? Mm hmm. So they don't really. You won't know it's Fort Canby unless you drive here, but it's here's the two lighthouses. Awesome. You did a good job, honey. Magnus. Okay, when you're coming down this hill from the museum and the gift shop, make sure you got really good brakes because there is nothing at the end of this incline to stop you from going over that cliff. <laughs> it's just scary. road up. Okay, this is the road up and out for the handicap parking only. It's a little hairy on the, so on the sides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it goes straight down. <laughs> and occasionally they have a little pull out. Yeah. In case somebody's coming up while you're going down. I mean, look. Or if you're coming up, somebody's coming down. <laughs> you're going to go straight down. Yeah, if you could hit that pull out a little too wide, you could be getting down quicker than you want. <laughs> yeah.
Well, that's all we have for this episode. Thank you for joining us. We had fun and we hope you did too. Please remember to like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, remember to also hit the bell to receive notifications of new videos. There are links in the video description if you'd like to support what we do. And thanks for watching.